Alright, this is your boy once again, and we're going to go through this real quick. Uh, real quick might be 30 minutes. <laughs> now, I say that because that's just end up being the format of how long these things break out to sometimes. Every time we're like, we're going to go through this quick. But this is the tight end game versus Lil Dirt and Meek Mill situation. When it really... People was like, man, I was like giving y'all a two for one because the stories intertwine with one another. Meaning that it's publicized about Tiger and Dirt, like on a big level, but nobody really knew the Meek Mills and Tiger situation, which really led to the whole thing. Matter of fact, forget it. Change the title. Put the whole young money in it. <laughs> Throw them all in it. Because it all stems from the same thing. It's all one big story. And the whole situation started like this. Buzz Tiger, you know he got Black China, okay? We won't go to how they met. We won't go on the fact that she's a stripper from Miami. Like they all are. <laughs> we won't even go through all that. So we already know what she is, okay? She and... and Tiger got a kid, you know, just had a baby or whatever. And, like, as soon as she had her baby, or even back when she was, like, pregnant, I think she just had her baby. Because I, uh, I was interviewing Adrian Broner. A.B. And Adrian Broner was on tour with me, Mills. <laughs> and I didn't know who the hell a black China was at the time. But I remember the name. <laughs> Black China was at a place uh, she was hanging out with a couple of her girlfriends at a spot while they were doing their little tour so they ran into Black China and actually was hanging out at the place with Black China Meek Mills got his phone number from her she swear to god I don't know how he got my number I never gave it to him but Meek Mill got a number <laughs> And wanted to see what was up. Because I guess whatever vibe he got from her that night. Or whatever. You know. He was like look. Like she wanted and I can get it to her. So. And the Adrian brother had nothing to do with that. He just happened to be around. But. Look. He did what a dude would do. That don't know the situation. Or ain't trying to do it. But. Meek Mills didn't give a F about the situation, really. He look at her like, oh, like, this is something I can run through right good. So he hit her up like, yo, you know, you gonna be in my town, you know, texting. The text messages and all that. I'm quite sure you've seen them all on the internet by now. But he was hitting her up because they were going back and forth. Like, their text messages before that. When she was talking about getting up with him. That's why he was being so forward with her. And all of a sudden, you know, it didn't materialize the way she wanted it to do. And she put Meek Mills out there on blast and like, here, look, Meek Mills been trying to get up with me. Because she got caught. You know, Tiger's like, what's this? Oh, Meek Mills, da 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 and this all came from the Versace song that they were on. You know, when he was on the remix. So, he feel Tiger got in there and started putting him on blast on the internet. Trying to make him look like a stalker. And that was Tiger's idea. Meek Mills did. So, Meek Mills already was feeling a certain way about him. Like, man, he's a lame. You know, so he really was like, man, I lyrically tear that motherfucker up. But on the Versace song, on the remix, he gets on there and they trying to put their best verses out there to say who did what. And everybody was like, man, Meek Mills killed Versace. Meek Mills did this and Meek Mills did that. So, take it as you may. <laughs> the two really didn't like each other from 21 Jump Street. And Drake and Nicki... Love Meek Mills. 
Meek Mills is like, they, they call them, oh, you are adopted young money. This adopted young money right here. This adopted young money. They used to joke, like, yeah, he adopted young money. And Tiger really was there. They was like, oh, they showed love to Tiger too when he was there. But they didn't, like, kick it with him because he was kind of weird. You know, like, Tiger don't do the things that everybody else really do. When they go to the clubs, kick it, hang out. He more of a laid back, quiet type dude. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just that's not his style. So his vibe wasn't what they were on. These people are successful, have been successful. He want to be Tiger want to be successful, but be on the low. He want to go out, be make some noise. Why he got an album out? Then go back and chill. You know his Rack City, all this stuff was doing good on the internet, but his money slowed down. And when his money starts slowing down, the Black China know it. She finna go out and play. Because the money's slowing down. So he wasn't heavy balling at the time. Everything was slow motion and they ain't putting his music in nothing out. So he, now he's getting frustrated because his girl's frustrated. And that's just like any aspect of life. When your girl got a problem, you're going to turn your problems out on something else that you should have addressed a long time ago. Where my money? <laughs> Y'all messing with my money. Because now you're about to lose your girl. Who's that for money anyway? But anyway. That's <laughs> why she had the baby. But anyway. <laughs> I just don't understand some of these dudes, man. Anyway, they in the studio. Working on this song. And uh, Lil Dirt has got this song. You know, they working on this cut. And he's on this remix and whatever. And Tiger's going to be on the song and this and that. And one of the lyrics, he shouted out like, Black China, like, I hit that, like, some, some silly line, you know, I ain't listened to the song at once, but, <laughs> I don't really think nothing of the song, so, anyway, Tiger Face got all scrunched up, like, mm -hmm. and, you know, Chris Brown and all them in there, because they like Lil Dirt, so he was like, no, nah, dude, it was a, it was a compliment, he just thought it was funny. Chris Brown did, but he was like, "No, nah, it's cool. I'm, I'm, you know, I mess with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It just caught me off guard. I'm like, what? He's like, no, I'm giving her a shout out. That's a compliment. You know what I'm saying? I hit Black China. I'm just shouting her name out. He was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. He's like, just throw my name in there, too. You know, he was like, yeah, all right, for sure. He's like, matter of fact, just take that line out. <laughs> Just take, yeah, everything cool, just take that line out. He was like, alright, cool, no problem. You know, he's like, yeah, we're going to work together, we're going to do these songs, and this and that. So everybody thought Tiger and, and uh, Dirk was working together. And they was going to work out an album and all this, because they had the pictures when they was in the studio preparing to work. So he started texting them, like, dude, I'm going to send you these joints. I'm going to do this and that. Did you change the thing yet? Did you take the line and stuff out? Yeah, and he keep what he was doing was trying to get dirt and trying to play him as a sucker because he don't know him. It's hard to play a shy town dude as a sucker and for them to not know it. Now, when a shy town dude, especially street shy town dude, finds out that you trying to play him for a sucker, you gonna have some serious, 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 serious problems. More serious than you probably have ever heard or thought you could ever be in, industry or non industry. They don't take disrespect too well. And sometimes there isn't a conversation. You better hope you get a chance to get a conversation before something happens. That's how it usually goes down. And the situation exploded because. Dirt found out and figured it out like oh this sucker just keep doing this and he keeps stalling and all this because he want to push back or take off the uh, he want me to take the lyrics off so that uh, he can come out and be like he ain't going to do the song anyway he just want to get me to take the lyrics off and he's just being a sucker about it trying to play me so he came out and just started ripping Dirt on the Chirac song and once that happened, <laughs> when the Chirac song came out on the remix that had uh, 
Nicki Minaj on there, which I don't know why she was on Chirac, but okay. He got on there and ripped Tiger on the on the track. And once that happened, Meek Mills was like, man, I want to get on that uh, remix. <laughs> Meek Mills, <laughs> Meek Mills hit Lil Durk up like, look, uh, yeah, yeah, I like that, that thing go tight, uh, I want to get on that, <laughs> now Meek Mills want to get in on it, cause they already, he, he already know about what's going on with Tiger and, uh, Dirk, so Meek Mills jump right in like, uh, yeah, I want to get on that track. <laughs> I won't miss this for the world. So he, <laughs> so now Meek Mills is up there with Dirk, and they spit. So Tiger feels some sort of way because he's like, man, Drake didn't come up, step up to my aid. Nicki ain't tell you nothing about taking the verse off from dissing me, you know, on the remix and doing all that, and she. Ain't complain about that at all she just you know just riding the wave of it I ain't got no family <laughs> they ain't family you know like they ain't really cool and this is why I don't deal with them like this was he was expecting them to show brotherhood even after he didn't diss them like in the magazine They're like they ain't running my friends they was like, well, no. <laughs> she had been unfollowed him off Twitter and all that. But this guy thought that, I guess, he was feeling some sort of way. Like, there's a guideline of some respect. Like, I would have never let nobody, like, come at them like that on the records with me. Even though I wasn't really cool because they ain't did nothing to me. But he felt slighted, so he run to go get the only guy he know who in the industry owes me a favor. <laughs> oh, game. <laughs> game, man. You got to come help us out because we kept you relevant <laughs> when you was with Young Money and Lil Wayne. You know, you know I mess with y'all. So you got to come out here and help me out. So he was like, bet. Put on his shirt, suit, game, get involved, start going at Lil Dirt. <laughs> and they make the little diss song back and they got game on it. It's like, what? Because first it was just the Instagram video with just Tiger spitting. Then the song come out and have game on it. And game put a classic diss song on there. This verse. Well, I won't knock your thing. It was tight. But I'm from Shot Town. <laughs> you was about to get knocked out for that verse. Everywhere. Because you broke a code that in Chicago, Shot Town, that I got to let all y'all know about. There's an unwritten code that says, watch how you say something. Don't name drop a guy that's doing time or could be facing charges or is already fighting a case or anything like that unless you know that guy will have great permission to do so because it put people in a very sticky predicament. And then you give giving shouts out to another guy like he co-signed it. And he like, man, like, cause when people listen to the song, they like, man, he shouted him out like dude co-signing it. You with him? Cause they ain't finna go in there and be like, hey, uh, we heard you were co-signing. They might come up, man, you co-signing game? And they might come at him with guns drawn. So his life could be in danger. Or they might just come shooting. Like, this is some serious, <laughs> you know what? This is, that was no game. So... Once they realize how real it got for them coming to this state line, they didn't even want to come to Milwaukee to do a show. That's too close. <laughs> so a phone call was made 
uh, between the parties, and they got in contact with Game. Game wanted to reach out because he knew he made a mistake. And when he reached out to the people he did, and they was like, dude, you shouted out a lot of people's names that you shouldn't, and you saying a lot of stuff that's wrong. And he was, no, no, man, no. I'm sorry about that, man. I apologize, man. I was just sticking up for the little homie, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I ain't going to say nothing else about it. It's done. There ain't no beef. I never dissed the little homie again. So, no matter what he put out, I'm not going to diss him again. So I'm I'm out of it. And he was like, all right. Now see, all this got done in private. Game apologized, squashed the little thing. Dirk went on the line, but he squashed it with Dirk, and squashed it with the people that was on the songs that he didn't drop the name dropped. Them. So he squashed it. He said he never dissing Dirk again. So that's the whole thing is done. He's like, no matter what Dirk put out, I'm not dissing. So. That's it. I'm done with it. So, has he shown up since then? No, because he, <laughs> he's smart. He knows. Do not come to Chicago <laughs> on no levels. <laughs> you don't know who forgave you, who didn't. They say they did, but how bad do you really want to find out? And Tiger will never show up here. If he do, he better stay in the hotel. Go right from there to the Coliseum. This, I mean, look, this city is crazy. One minute is a great place. Around the corner, it could be Beirut. Just that quick. Just that quick. It's a crazy time out here. And that's nothing to brag about. And there's nothing to promote. But your life it's just only you only get one of them. You get no do-overs that we know of. So be smart. And that's all of those. Let me cut this off because I don't know how long we done went. I tried to go as short as I can and tie everything up into one. But um, yeah, I think I never talked about. I kind of glanced on the Drake situation. Now his beef with Drake is the fact that. He's mad at Drake, too, for allowing this to go. And he's been taking little shots at Drake. You know, and his little songs are making statements. Now, Drake had also put out the fact that his girl, Black China, also tried to get up with him. Drake's holding that eight ball. He's doing a Jay-Z with the, with the, with the takeover. He going to sit back. He going to bait him and bait him and bait him. And he might just drop the napalm bomb on Tiger. And Tiger keep asking for it. But he'll wait to see if Tiger gets some type of buzz or whatever. To where to be something. Then Drake will hit him with that eight ball. Drop it on him. Because lyrically, uh, Tiger, he ain't afraid of no Tiger. <laughs> you know, but that's breezy, homie, too. So that's another problem. <laughs> So it all fits together one big swoop, you know. Then, you know, he knows that Drake got this eight ball in his pocket. <laughs> you know, he, he know he got that eight ball in his pocket. Plus, this is why Drake never really got too close to homie because he knows Breezy is your running mate. You know, y'all homies. So... That whole crew is not going to vibe well with Drake. But Drake still shows you love every time he was around. He, no matter if it was fake love or whatever, he was there. But then you go do something dumb. Go hire Drake's ex to go take pictures with her and all this. It's so phony. Like, it didn't even get the attention and the buzz from everyone else. Everybody tried to put it out there. It did some for the boss boss of people and all them, but you just made yourself look really silly. But I know what you're doing. You're preparing for when Drake dropped that bomb, you know, that he ran through your girl. <laughs> you're preparing for it. Like, I got your ex. So, knock yourself out. Follow the playlist. Keep them coming. Like, all the comments, I'm seeing them. 
I'm responding to a lot of them as we go along and and if I forget the name of a restaurant and I say the wrong name just forgive me don't mean the whole thing is a, a fluke cause I done got the wrong street it was on 38 not 36 this guy doesn't know what he's talking about no <laughs> it happened okay <laughs> oh gosh I, I crack up when I hear those did he say Smith and Johns? It was Jimmy Johns. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Get him, dude. <laughs>